Hi you guys, I'm back. Um, I'm now going to go through how to calculate distance. I took another map that has, that's a bit bigger and uh, I'm sure we, we will be able to do it now. Okay, uh, just to be clear, I'm going to just, uh, because it's going into the next question, I'm going to calculate the distance of the dark line that you see there at the bottom. Okay, I'm using a plain ruler, a small one. Um, they usually don't ask you something that's more than 15 centimeters, but you can either use a 15 centimeters or a 30 centimeter ruler. I prefer that it is usually clear, but um, I don't have a clear one in, in home now, so uh, I'm just using the one that I that I do have on hand. So if we want to calculate the distance from of that line there, usually it will be from one line to another or from one number to another. Um, if they ask you per, perhaps from M to E or something like that, there usually will be an arrow. When you measure from an arrow, you usually do it from the point there, the point of the arrow. Not anywhere else, it's from the point of the arrow to another place. If um, it's like a trigonometry uh, uh, beacon, it will be in the middle of that. But I'll do that when we do the um, gradient. So if we calculate the distance, the first thing that we need to do is we need to measure from the one side to the other side. In this case, if you measure it, you will see it is 7,3 centimeters. So you will just start and say, okay, 7,3 centimeters. But now you need to figure out by what do I multiply this? Now, I, I usually told my kids and you guys are my kids now, you draw yourself this table. It consists of three columns and three rows. This row is when you take it to meter. And this row is when you take it to kilometer. This will be your topographical, which is 1 to 50,000. And this will be your ortho, which will be 1 to 10,000. Okay. So... If they say you can start with the exam, the first thing that you do on the front page is you just draw yourself this block. It's going to save you a major lot of time. Um, with meters, you know it will be multiplied by 500 and kilometers will be multiplied by 0, 0,5. On the author photo, meters will be multiplied by 100 and your kilometers will be multiplied by 0, 0,1. Okay, so if you have this, then you will know what to do. Well, as we are working on the topographical map, the colored one, we are going to go to meters in this case. And I want to calculate what is the distance of that line in actual life, in meters. Okay, so we did measure it. It's 7,3 centimeters. You just say multiply by 500 and you will get the answer take your calculator most of you have this one i do prefer it so i'm going to use it when i um do the the videos you're going to say 7.3 multiplied by 500 and you're going to get the answer of 3650 3650 meters okay if it was two kilometers you would have said 7,3 centimeters multiply by 0 0,5 and you would have gotten 3,65 kilometers all right so please just make sure what does the question ask does the question ask in meters or in kilometer kilometers highlighted market just make sure that you know to what do you work and please remember the unit at the end if the unit is not there you're not going to get the mark okay so if you know how to calculate the distance, then calculating the area will be very easy. Please remember, yes, the formula for this is area equals length times breadth. That's the easy part. But you need to know what the length and what the breadth are. So you need to first calculate what is the length of the area that you're going to do and what is the breadth. Oh, okay, let's just say breadth B. Okay. We already did calculate the breadth from the, that side to that side. So we do have the breadth, and I'm just going to write it again. That's when you did and you said 
7,3 centimeters and this one is for meters eh? I'm gonna do it in meters okay so I'm gonna say 7,3 multiplied by 500 and that gives you 3,6,5,0 meters with the length again you take your ruler and you measure you will see it is 6, I think it's six in this case so you will say six comma six centimeters multiplied by 500 and that will give you three thousand three hundred meters this um if you've watched the Afrikaans one and the English one you will see that there might be a measuring difference in the two it's just uh, how I saw it at that stage uh, remember in the test I will give you a leniency um, and I will give you more clarity on what you should do in the test just to make sure you get your marks okay now we get back to the 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 formula you write it again you say area equals length times breadth now you take the answer and you substitute so you say 3300 meters multiply by 3650 meters and you will get the answer of 12045123 do not have a heart attack when you see it's a big number just write it down that is your answer you just write it down if you did work with if the question was in kilometers please note my unit just note the unit if you worked in kilometers your length would have been 6,6 .6 multiplied by 0, 0,5 that would have been 3,3 3 kilometers and the breadth would have been 7,3 centimeters multiplied by 0, 0,5 and that would have been 3,65 kilometers when you do the substitution you will say area equals length times the breadth which is 3,3 .3 kilometers multiplied by 3,65 kilometers and that will give you the answer of 12,045 kilometers you would have seen if you did this on the calculator your first answer would have been in a fraction you can't write the fraction as an answer you use that button the S turn to D SD the moment that you push it it will put it into a decimal and then you can um, just write the decimal answer now please remember that it is squared at the end